Yo, there it is! Oh man! The old Capcom logo. You can't beat it. Always in my heart with that fucking like little like sound repeat. Look at what we're playing, Resident Evil 2. Not the re <laughs> not the remake, but the original version. Ah, oh, God. So, uh, thank you for joining me today in this little, uh, I guess, LP, I guess you'd call it. Um, today is actually the anniversary of Resident Evil. Uh, it turns 25. Wow, 25. Resident Evil is 25 years old. That's that's crazy to think about. Well, like, considering that there's, like, other games that are older than it, but as as someone who has, like, like worshipped this game, it's it's one of my favorites. Um, and as to why we're not playing uh, RE1 is because I like RE2 more. Yeah? Is, is that an excuse I could get away with? Plus, two, it's, like, got a lot more going on and one's kind of boring but it's more creepy i don't know we're playing two i'm pretty sure other people are, are, are gonna be playing one or even the the remake that was on a uh, gamecube but i'm gonna settle for two um yeah let's start this up let's see here load or uh for those who don't know uh arrange mode is for like people who played the game uh through already and it randomizes the items, I think. Um, oh, and I haven't played RE2 and oh, I played it maybe like two years ago. Could be more than that. Could be like on the brink of like three to four. But uh, it's been a while since I fully uh, played through it. And I'm not even talking about both um, a, uh, a part A and part B of the game. So, if I forget a few things, uh, don't get mad. Here we go. Uh, do normal. Also, too, I have to get used to the controls, because it's been a good while since I played a good RE2. Uh, right now, we are recording it. No, no, no. Right now, we're playing it on the, uh, the PS3. So, hopefully, there isn't, like, a frame issue, but A bizarre it's fine. incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation of the affair. Corporation's experiments were far from finished. <laughs> oh, damn. The other side of the sign, uh, on what's his record city, there's the, uh, the other side actually says uh, Silent Hill. I'm not serious, by the way. Oh, hopefully I can remember the voice lines. Yo! It's our boy! It's Leon! God, it seems so blurry. And I, and I don't know if that's due to it being on PS3 or uh, me recording. Guy's a maniac! Why'd he buy me? Uh, but but also I'm not uh, looking at live footage. I'm, I'm looking at the uh, uh, recording. Um, Man, what a mess! Feet, I guess. What could have done this? What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? All right, that's far enough. Don't move. Let's see. Get back. I said get back! No! 
Maybe not. Oh wow, it's been a really long time since I've seen this cutscene then. I skip it most of the time, uh, any time that I play it. Get down! Wait! Don't shoot! Down. Yeah! We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Okay, <laughs> God. So, uh, 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 for uh, for these cutscenes, I think I think back in the day. So, so I hear great the radio's out. Oh, I forgot to say it. No. Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. No, I I I just let the the cutscene play out. I came to find my brother Chris. I came to find my brother Chris. You know, the Chris. Chris Redfield? That's right. I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Gotta love how the body okay. flies out so smoothly. Still in one piece. <laughs> I don't know why. I always used to think that like a horn sounded there, but it could have just been the soundtrack. Claire. Leon. Leon. I'll meet you there. Okay. Ah oh, shit. And this is where we get down to business, right here. God, I'm gonna be so upset if I die. <laughs> uh, they were parted by whatever. Uh, this is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Ooh, spooky, spooky, creepy. Avoid this guy. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. Ah, uh, the night. No, that's different. Oh, I almost shot you. I don't remember how it went, but I remember his voice. Kendo. Kendo's gun shop. Freeze. Ch -ch. God damn it, I'm on about a whack. Hold your fire! I'm a human! I like how he cocks it twice. A show should have flown out there. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay, um, yeah, so that's Kendo. We're in Kendo's gun shop. And I might try to do some cracked out shit. Ah, oh, it was that one. God damn it. Alright, it's fine. All right, we're gonna try to get a shotgun. Yep, we got it. Boom! Can't believe we got that actually. Oh god! Just let me get those. Let me get that arrow. All right, see ya. Rest in peace, Kendo. Thank you for your services. I'm not trying to uh, speed around this game, by the way. I definitely don't have the uh, dexterity or practice for that. 
Ooh, I think there's... Now then, this should be... Yeah, this might be doable. Okay, okay. Boom. Where did you come from? I think it takes like six to seven shots to kill each zombie. Uh, zero. One, two, three. You're not down. Four, five. Come on, get up. Six. Oh. And of course, uh, if you don't know, uh, you know when they're dead when they start bleeding. Oh, what the hell? One, two, three. Ah, oh, that's lame. Arguably, like, the worst part about having a mounted camera is, uh, you have, like, a fucky, uh, depth perception. I mean, that you can't, like, tell how far something is, uh, or is in front of you. Check this out, though. Oh! Nope, I was wrong. Joke's on me, <laughs> I'm just stupid. I know it's your, uh, uh, I know where some of, like, the hidden items are. I used to know where uh, all of them were at. It's right here. There it is. so many. I don't remember this many. Down. Nope. There you go, that's good. That will always be the fastest way to reload. There. Uh, let's see if you get past it. It's always good when you can save some shelves. I'll try my best to focus for now because I really don't want to die at the beginning sequence. <laughs> I realized something. This is the thing that, that, that you never see in, like, today. It's just blindly firing, guessing where something is. Still, I've taken a lot more hits than I wanted to, but we're still fine. Alright, that's a good... Weave this. Nope. Woof. Almost 
there, almost there. If you uh, beat the game, uh, a Stars member would be down here. I think it's four sets down here. And once you kill him, he drops a uh, key that allows you to change to the alternate costumes. God. I don't think there's anything in here that to check. Yeah. There might be an herb, but uh, we'll be fine. As I've taken like 50 hits. Alright. Finally at the uh, PlayStation. Oh, God. Blessed the soundtrack. And there's something oddly comforting about <laughs> being in like the the main hall and like hearing your your footsteps echo throughout the uh, the police station. Hmm. What do you use the computer? Hmm. Door lock service. Hall side doors locked. Uh, the doors can be unlocked via key card. Let's check something else out there. Oh man, I like how for this reception desk they have like some shady ass. Like, what was that? File 0513 1990X showing very mysterious test tube looking things. What's next to that freak ass face down there? Don't worry about it though. It's all good. Evil and Resident Evil? I don't know what you're talking about, fam. Do 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 do. Okay. To obtain the key to open your heart. All right, we gotta get the a key to open that. I don't remember where to like fully go. If that makes sense. Uh, meaning that like my run isn't gonna be you know uh, min max because I don't remember. Um, what's the best route to handle oh, everything? Oh man. But that's fine. Who... who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. Uh, what happened? Uh, I'm About dying. About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion. Located in the outskirts of this city. I'm gonna call it the Chris raccoon incident. And the other stars uh, members discovered that. No, scratch that. Umbrella Make it the Marvin was behind incident. Everything. Bleh. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Oh, thanks, dude. Now go. But just go. By the way, for you, uh, Fine. JoJo's uh, coming back for you. Zero adventure fans. There's actually a JoJo reference on that locker if you saw it earlier. Damn, you locked me out. Alright. Now the game actually starts. Um, I, I, I didn't do a uh, introduction in the beginning. Um, if you're if, if this is the first time that you're joining uh, us on the channel, uh, we're Reductus. My name is Volt. Uh, typically, these episodes are done like co-op. Uh, but today I am by myself out of just pure love for Resident Evil uh, yeah so I think I think this is like the first actual full LP not LP but like episode because uh, uh, I tend just to you know play like Leon's part and that's it uh, hopefully I, I can get it wrapped up with electronically locked oh, that's right I got to keyboard 
uh, I've seen God uh, Anyway, I want to wrap this up in like maybe three to four hours. That's that. That's what I'm giving myself. Yes, unlock that shit. Nice, nice. I'm gonna go down this way first. Actually, before I started playing, or, or like, I decided to uh, do an episode for um, for RE2, I replayed the, the, the remake, and I was like, man, I should go play the original one, and here we are. Uh, police... Memory, whatever. Let's see here. Uh, 823, 1998, which is the year the game came out. Uh, this letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has, uh, that has happened during the, uh, I don't know what that word is, uh, rearrangement. Uh, the safe with the four digit lock has been moved from the star's office to the second floor. To the eastern office, uh, 2236. Very cool. Hopefully I'll remember that. Is there anything in this chest? The universal chest? No. Throw this piece of crap away. Uh, man, what, what, what else did I want to mention? Yeah, so, uh, uh, uh obviously... It's the uh, anniversary of Resident Evil. Wait, check this shit out quick. Ooh, spooky shit used to scare the fuck out of me. Also, too, this very unique uh, camera angle that you will only see once. Come on. Boom. There it is. Genius. Uh, I wish they kept it. I wish they kept it in the remake, but they didn't. They kept the sign, though. Nothing unusual here. I wish I wish there was a mode in the remake where <laughs> it just gave you tank controls and a mounted camera. God bless the tank controls. Maybe bring that back. See what what makes a true horror game, like 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 what really makes it scary, is bad controls because you don't know when you're gonna die. Or just like whenever you can't see what's in front of you because we kind of hear something. Shh. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Luckily, we have this shotgun. Well, what could it be? Then it hisses at, at us like a cat. That is the best application for the for for this shotgun. Speaky. And and gave us some help. Now uh, there is one other use that I want to use the last shell for, but I don't know if we're gonna get the the actual shotgun later. Oh. Listen to it. Listen to that soundtrack. Ah! Uh, yeah. So uh, during the uh, opening cinematic, I was gonna say that I think I think back in its time, uh, th the reason why they made that was because at the time, Square Enix and Blizzard were crapping out, you know, their crazy ass cinematics for what games precisely? I don't remember. Um, but then Capcom was like, hey, we could do that too. And they did, and it's kind of whatever. Eh, actually, yeah, like, it's fucking amazing. It's the best, it's, 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 it's the best cutscene ever. Uh, operation date. Uh, operation report, September 26th. 
uh, the Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Uh, many have been injured, even more were killed during the attack. Our communications equipment was destroyed, and we no longer have contact with the outside. So I was gonna mention that uh, whenever Leon was driving in his car. Was that? Was that? Um, he says that. Damn, the radio's out, and that it was gonna tell us later that the communications that, which is actually a pretty uh, big um, man uh, story element, because like the comms were out for a good while, so that you couldn't even contact anyone outside of Raccoon, which is how most of the. Like, ba basically how, like, no one got help. Uh, we have declined to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivor of survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. Uh, the details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents on the very day uh, before the zombies attack. Uh, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this discussion has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches, uh, caches, uh, it has become a top priority to recover the scattered ammunitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all uh, all ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the keycard used to access the weapon storage is messing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in the certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power to those rooms and secure those locks. Uh, David Ford. What should we got? Okay, god dang. Operation report, September 27th. Uh, 1pm. The West Barricade has been broken uh, through, and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured and the... Uh... Man, I, my brain is just not working with me today. Confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Uh, 12 more people were injured in the battle. Additional four, three additional people were killed uh, following the sudden appearance as an as of yet unknown creature. The creature is identified by messing patches of skin and razor like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristics is its lance like turn, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. The numbers as well as their location remains unknown. Uh, we have intently named these creatures Lickers and are currently in the process of developing countermeasurements counter to deal with the new threat. God damn, that's the longest report. Ooh, look at that pretty lady over there. Um, so, for a quick fact, uh, Leon's handgun here. Let's see if we can check it out. Check it out. Wow, it actually tells you. It's a Hector Notch VP70. Yep. 9mm. I wonder if it tells us what the shotgun is. I think it's uh, Remington 870. Check. No, M1110. Not a. Uh... Yeah. M1100, there you go. Alright. Alright. Oh, and by the way, depending on which campaign you choose, Leon or Claire, you start with a unique item, and we have the lighter.
A sacrifice to the hell of the fire. Damn, I wonder what we gotta use. Nice. I wonder if they have to like print out a picture every time someone needs to get this jewel. <laughs> By the way, that box of shells is very well hidden. Hmm. Okay. Oh boy. Figuring out what to do, where to go. This little vent right here is to creep the fuck out of me. A ventilation chef, it's dark inside. Because I always used to wonder like what was if there was ever gonna be something that would pop out of there. Ah, yes, this is exactly where I want to be. Let's see here, what's the best approach? Damn, that sucks. You know, there, there might be like a red herb right around the corner, but it's fine. Eighteen shots, sir. That wasn't too bad. And boom, we even got our herbs, our medical herbs, our non licensed medical herbs. I think I can put away the jewel for now. It's dark. Since we got a ink ribbon here and along with the box, might as well go ahead and save. For the longest time I didn't know <laughs> what a what an ink ribbon actually was. Like for a good damn the control room. I had no idea I had a uh, previous save here. Operation Port 2. Oh man. Ah oh, man, if you want to pause it and read it, you can. I, I, I don't feel like reading this. Let's see here. Uh, It's probably talking about how there's an escape route to the underground. Hang on out. Uh, these closets right here, once you uh, get that key that I was telling you about uh, earlier, that's where you use it to um, change costumes. Go and drop this off. Don't need that.
next one used to freak me out. I think... I think this door is locked. Diamond, okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the records room, I think. Oh, I used to love, like, the step animation. It's stupid, but it's great. Alright, boys and gals, it's time to use your big brains to figure out this puzzle. If you, if, <laughs> uh, if I remember, if you sit long enough in like the, uh, like the, like the, like the game menu, like, like when you first start of the game, it'll, <laughs> it'll play like a little clip of, of, uh, Leon solving the puzzle, so you, you don't need to figure it out yourself. There's something, uh, written, written on the mountain, whatever. The god of the sun and the god of the moon, their gaze. Upon me is the only thing that can release the red soul. It's kind of cringe, bro. Also upset that the RE make you to have uh, push push puzzles. My my ocarina uh, box push puzzles. Cause that shit would have made me hype. And if you're wondering why are these like statues and it's really weird design for a PlayStation, it's because the the building was originally a museum that was converted into a PlayStation. And we'll talk about some sus shit afterwards. That's also linked with the PlayStation. I don't know if there's any Zambos in here. Most likely. Yeah, you can hear them. Come on. Come on. Go ahead and reload. Look at him twitch. He did. I like how Leon looks at the <laughs> at the body. In a in a Sunny Hill, I think one and two, um, Henry and uh, James. Look at items uh, in the room. Like as you pass them. Hold on, let's see if I can do some crack shit. Come on! Oh, only got one. I'm probably gonna get bit. Alright, that was too bad. I was hoping to get uh, both of them. But I didn't. All clear, all clear. Alright. Special stars office. And he was like, I want to be a stars one day. I wonder. Nope, I cannot. God damn it. Oh, there goes a regular shotgun. Will you take the shotgun? Yes, I will take the shotgun. So let's see here right now. This is uh let's see, let's take a look at the picture. Picture of the stars members. There we go. All all the stars members. Half of them are like dead though. Let's uh should I should I try to get this? 
I should just go drop off the shotgun real quick. Since I really can't. This is uh, Barry's desk. Barry Burton. Then right here we have Chris's. He's got a sweet ass jacket right there. And this is Jill's. Obviously if you couldn't tell because of the, the beret right there. Chris's diary. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refuses to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted a T-virus research uh, in that ma mansion. Anyone affected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion along with the uh, evidence. Since Umbrella employees, or employees so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the, in the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. Uh, this must be the work of Umbrella. Chris has got like his tinfoil hat on. August 24th. Uh, with the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has been begun researching on a new G-Virus. A variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? Uh, we talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella uh, HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because it could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. And give me that shit. Leon! <laughs> Good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. I found his diary. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Ooh, let's get song right here. So mysterious and ominous. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do a double trip back. I can't believe what is happening to this city. So we can come back to the stairs office. I got a few things to pick up, actually. Wait, why did my dumbass keep both those herbs? What the fuck? Ugh, okay. We'll, we'll wrap up. I actually don't know if I'm going to edit this or just going to be shit up from our footage. Oh well, you get what you get. That door is broken, by the way. We can't even open it. <clears throat> hey, but the bonus about this, we get to see the sweet ass uh, <laughs> stare animation. Ooh. See, you would think tank control is. Is pretty bad and awful to play with, but in a weird way, it kind of feels good. Uh, she. I guess we keep that on us. We drop it off at the at the statue uh, in the hall. I think there's two things I left. Yeah, there's two things I left in the in the thing. In the stairs office that I would like to get. Claire should be gone already. No, it's still here. Okay, cool. 
Oh, doing... oh yeah. Right behind here. It's trash. Trashed. Someone must have searched the desk. I think the song changed. Interesting. This is probably like the only time you, uh, you ever hear the sound, uh, the soundtrack right here. So, uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? You alright? Oh, there we go. get to point at this desk right here, which is Rebecca Chambers. The most favored of the Resident Evil girls. And we're gonna keep that first aid spray on us for personal reasons. Uh, I kind of want to go develop the film real quick so we don't have to mess with it again. So we'll go and do that. And then we'll go back down the stairs, develop it, go back up, and then continue. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's unlocked. And I know what's behind it. Kinda. And develop a film here. Whoa! The recruit. It's Rebecca Chambers. Look how scuffed it looks. Man, her face doesn't look too good. Is that Easter egg in the remake? I don't know actually. I should look into that. Huh. And back up again. Nothing unusual going on here. It's locked. Wasted our time. God damn it. I knew it. I knew it. I know I know where it leads to. I just wasn't sure if it was locked or not. Ah, ah. Let's see you're up. This might be a two-part episode, by the way, but it's gonna be like an hour or something long. Depending on... Yeah, maybe I might shoot for a two-hour... or like, stop uh, at a two-hour mark. I think. I think that'd be a good place to stop. Was something scary happen? Oh, God! That's spoopy, wasn't it? Wait, we forgot to do something. His head's missing. It seems to be a twist. Uh, seems to have been twisted off. Thank you. 
Ooh, it's kind of weird going from the remake to the original because I expect to be uh, to see some of these doorways to be open, like like meaning that you can just walk through it without a doorway. But every single room here is a is is a doorway, obviously. Ah, uh, what's he doing? That's right, we gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. We gotta chop off this thing. Check out this dope ass cutscene. Don't remember what key gives us. I think the diamond one. Nope. Uh, spade. Let's go visit homeboy. Oh, let's talk from the other side. Never mind. My bus. Let me check the map real quick. Hmm. I'm trying to think of it. I don't think I actually have a map yet. I don't know. Uh, we won't need this though. This is gonna suck. Go we'll see why in a second. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Bring it, motherfuckers. It's two, three. Four. Boom. That was pretty good. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, I'm glad that... Nothing to care about. That paid off well. Give me that, give me that herb. That sweet, delicious herb. Let's get a drink. Nothing is wrong. It's a 328. Night shift, George Scott. like that's like my favorite thing about uh old games like well, the old resident evil was so she can literally walk against the wall and there'll be like a comment on every single thing sure it might be like the same thing of oh nothing useful but i still i still like it and here we go one two three four five Six. Oh, he's dead, dead. Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, she's laughing at Leon looking at the dead body. There's gonna be another one coming up. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. And we got. Good job, gang. Now I'm able to get both. Floor, I think. Yeah. Uh, is this locked? Yes, it is. Now, that one I know is a clover.
Nothing special on the shelf. Ooh, the music stopped. Creepy. Spooky. <gasps> we got a small key. Hold on, let me brush against the wall and mash X to see if I didn't mess anything. A magic mirror. Magic mirror. All right, all Gucci. Go ahead and combine these two. I think, I think this key opens these double doors right here. Oof, this is gonna be tough. Let me reset that. Sorry, I had a call. Let's pretend that again. Okay. Damn it. Oh, it's this way. God damn it. Oh, his arm fell off. You really see that? That's pretty cool. I think, I think with this dude, you could have just left him there, honestly. Just avoided him completely. Dunzo? Yeah, he's Dunzo. What's over here? That's an anchor event. Don't need that. Axe machine? Alright, they're both dead. Very cool. Uh. Yeah, I guess that was it. Okay. What's that? Oh, it's his feet. Give me them seat. No, 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 no. Don't want the herb. I want what's in here. That was not the combination. Uh, <laughs> let's check our file was. Two, two, three, six. That's what it was. Two, two, three, six. Bada boom. 
Shotgun shells. Hell yeah, brother. And a map. I think I think with the map it should tell us uh what keys go where. Five shells, yep. Hmm. Gotta think now, gotta think. Double check the map to see if I was right on that. Yes, yes I was. Okay. That makes things a hell of a lot easier. We'll go into that stuff there for now. We'll come back and pick it up if we need it. Uh. Dead body. Come on. There we go. I think he, that's all he has to give. That should be locked. Heart key. Okay. And this will take us to the court to the courtyard. Quotation marks. Not as good as the ambient outside sound for RE1, but acceptable. Actually, I could have done a pretty big brain move and had both uh, the Ruby thingies and. Um, man. And, uh... Use them over here. Uh, but right now I'm trying to think... It's the best route to go. Oh! Talk from that side. Never mind. We are leaving. See ya, fucker. Go uh back through here. God, got you gotta love the ambient sound effects. Once again, oddly soothing. Got to that whenever he's younger. Absolutely horrifying. Terrifying. I would be caught dead running around in this game. Always walking. Decisive. I wanna chop this off just so I can have extra space. Now, the small key can be used on that door right there, but I think I'm gonna use it for somewhere else. I think there's gonna be some Zambos in here too. It's like the worst ones too. You can't. Oh no no, it's all good. It's all good. All good. All good. No, I don't want that. Cup machine. There it is. All right, uh, patrol report. Uh, we received uh, a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers on the outskirts of Record City. I searched the area and located the indiv uh, individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items, a small amount of C4, pest explosives, and a, a, an electronic detonator, 9 by 9, uh, 19 parabellum rounds, infrared uh, scope broken, 
Hmm, interesting. And, uh, and, uh, the RV make. I think it's in, uh, man. In, uh, Chief Iron's, like, office, whatever. In, like, one of the back rooms, he has, a. Uh, he has like this, like the, the 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 stupid step, and I try to push it. I was like, "Man, missed opportunity." Uh, yeah, we keep going. Should be fine. I think this key only has two doors that it goes to, anyways. Probably drop off the crank. We'll go and drop off the crank. Don't think that's used to like later, later. Ah, oh, sweet safety. Everyone, take a breath. Nothing can harm me here. So what should make a so what should make a, a save room ASMR, where it's just like uh, you hear the door open up and close every so often, you hear like a typewriter going. And of course, like have a have like gunshots go go off every so often, zombie modes. That's quality ASMR right there. It's a million dollar idea, I swear. Save room ASMR. Love it. Whoop! Guess this is useless now. Throws it away. Always been my favorite thing. Yep, uh, this is this is what I was preparing for. One. Ooh, we got three. That's gamer. This one's still walking. I think that's it. Uh, whenever Sherry uh, shows up to Claire, that's like, that's what she goes through. And she uses the vents to get around like the rat she is. And that is if Mish looks useful. Boom. The desk is locked. Will you use the small key? Heck yeah! I wonder what's inside. Whoa! Will you take H gun parts? You have taken H gun parts. So, due to us being patient and big brained, we managed to get the stock and the extended mag for the uh, VP70. Whenever you combine it, boom! You get Leon's signature. Quote unquote Matilda. I don't know where they got that name from actually. Uh check, there we go. The Heckler or Notch, VP70. 
burst VP70 with with the stock booster. So uh, for those who don't know, the the stock of the gun, um, the butt of it opens up and you can shove the, the pistol in there to like hold it. But also too, it converts the pistol into into the burst file, the burst fire, you know, version that it is. And some and, and most people would typically think, man, what sense does that make? Well actually the IRO counterpart to the VP seventy is that there's a little button um on the stock at the top that pushes into uh the back of the handgun which pushes like these rows up that allows it to go into its uh burst fire mode it's really cool originally was designed for police use but also to uh like, like just the case they needed it for like militia purposes not malicious purposes, militia. Uh, sure, we'll take that. I guess. Mm. I think we're on the second floor. I think. Ah, yes. It would appear I was correct. Now I'm going away. Okay, we got some gaming to do. Uh, I got the inventory space for. I remember the first time playing this game by myself, and I forgot about that. Or, my bad. Uh, whenever I came across it, that scared the absolute crap out of me. Let's see, a bronze plate with the Patrona. Everyone got it? Okay. Pretty easy puzzle, not gonna lie. Can we take the bishop plug. Heck yeah, we do. Oh man. Now where to go next? Where to go next? Uh, something I do need to do. Wait, nope, don't have to. Okay, watch. Big brain. Check this shit. I don't... Uh, I better check up here real quick. This will take us to, like, the, uh, the clock tower area. Yeah. I like how there's supposed to be zombies down there, but they're not even down there. Huh, I thought there was supposed to be stuff over here. Now, this room, we might need the crank. Yep. Right there. That's where we use it for. That's alright. It all good. It all good. We progressively handle problems as they come at us. The Leon S. Kennedy way.
Um, this way. It's this way. So this dude's head off real quick. Do you... That's where Claire gets her medallion at. have it to auto so it can be cool and burn through all the ammo I'm not holding the button. Oh, just got myself got. Yeah. You did, fam. This. Another small key. I wonder where it goes. What's this? I remember this. Oh, it's a serious diary. Uh, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor. <laughs> uh, I was leaning against it when the chief found out. He was furious. All right. Take this and this. And also, we will do a pretty big brain play. Take these as well. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're rocking. I just, I just realized something. Whenever you get the extended mag with the stock, it doesn't actually increase your max capacity. Which uh, sucks. Wait, yeah, it does. I'm tripping. Because it goes from. Wait. Right? I don't know. I have to look that one up. Oh no, I hate that part. Uh-uh. Nope. Oh god, I hate this. The birds in OG Resident Evil, they are a menace. He was pecked to death, yet yeah, so will I. Ah! Ah! No! Okay. <laughs> I fucking hate them. I hate them so much. Mm, I don't think we have the valve yet. Yeah. 
Oh, for I do. Aw, oh, that's where it's at. All right, your boy, your boy got slightly confused. So here's the here's the game plan. Here's the game plan. We're gonna we're gonna move fucking we're gonna move fucking haul ass back this way. Do the horrible crows. Go through the crows. Go to the first floor. Pick up the crank. Uh, let's see. Pick up the crank. Go use the crank, and then get the valve. I wish I recorded this earlier to have it uh, uploaded earlier, but uh, I was too busy playing the remake. <laughs> Sorry, my bust, my bust. I was playing a, a reverse actually, Claire first, then Leon. Typically, I do Leon Claire. Because Leon's my boy. Dun, dun. Oh! How I am stupid. Oh, how I am stupid. I didn't even touch the chest as I passed by it. GG me. That's fine. Just to make this episode a little longer. Just for you. Sure might be a bad thing in some cases. Uh, drop this off, and drop this off, and pick this up. Although, mm, yeah, let's go use that spare key. That spare key. Small key. We'll do it on our way back. I think that'd be pretty cool if we did it that way. By the way, only uh, only in Resident Evil 4 that Leon's gun gets the name Matilda. After, yeah. All right. Use this crank gun. Oh boy, what will it do? Activate odds machinery. Nah. Drop some. Drop some stairs. Step, 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 step. Oh. Boy, oh boy, was I mistaken. God damn, your boy's very lost. Oh, at least we got to use the stupid uh, valve. Not valve, the crank. Oh man, I didn't get to cherish the moment of the of the generic sound effect. The squeaky squeak. Oops. That's fine. One less thing to worry about in our inventory. Yeah. Cause in RE1 you have to carry around two types of cranks, which is kind of annoying. Because if you're impatient, like me, you don't pay attention to what the what the bit is. Because it's a hexagon. Oh, is it? There's a hexagonal and a square, square bit. 
and then I always manage to get them confused because I don't have the patience to just look at it. Heck yeah! Bing! 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 Gotta love it. <coughs> oh god, sorry about that. Oh, uh, where's it going again? Yes. In here. This is where that other uh, uh, dresser was at. Hang on now. Perfect. Hmm. I still want to carry those two uh, gems on me, but it's fine. The the chest is literally right around the corner from the statues that we need to put them to. I still want to do a quick errand real quick. I'm gonna go back and pick up that stuff behind uh, this office. Yeah, pick up the items behind this desk in this office. There we go. Much better. Good job. Good job, me. Words. Ooh, scary. Oh, it's just the stupid fans. Excuse me. Pardon me. Don't mind me. Give me that. Hmm. And that's it. Okay, cool. And then, if I remember correctly, we unlocked that door to the second floor, so we have to go back through the through the main hall. It's a shame, though, we don't get to see the sweet ass uh, ladder climb animation. Man, that makes me really sad. I hope it makes you makes you sad too. Gotcha. Shut up, birds! I'm gonna go drop off these, uh, these herbs. Don't want them clogging my inventory. For a while there, I was like, man, do I even have, have uh, uh, life for myself? And I had a first day experience, so it's all good. I don't think I, I can actually get that far without getting hit, to be honest. So I'm kind of reckless. And then also, too, I haven't ran this or played this game that much to barely get hit. Yeah, but uh, up uh, uploading it late probably isn't a bad thing because man, it's like getting late. Got some Resident Evil in the background, put you to sleep. I think that'd be nice. Plus, the RE2 is like a really good game to play at night with, with someone. Ah, crap. There we go. So I think the I think the real VP seventy actually does. Uh, I don't know what you would call the trigger type, but if you pull, if, if you if you barely pull the trigger, uh, it shoots one shot. 
We can pull down the trigger all the way. It does the burst fire. It might not. I know the Seder Aug does. It just full uh, full auto, not not burst. I'm not sure if the if the VP70 doesn't. Hello. Nothing special. Nothing special. There it is. Give me that. And yeah, we'll take those hang up bullets. Oh. Let's check out this door. Let's see what's, let's see what's through here. Oh, oh my god! Zombies! Ah! God! Bye. That song alone indices fear. Anytime something bad happens, anything remotely bad happens, or like, I'm like, I need to go, I need to go. That song plays. Bum bum! Bum bum! Good. It's fucking good is what it is. Bing. Bing. Also too, the sound of uh footsteps or Leon's footsteps walking up the stairs, like the tink tink, that's satisfying right there. Everything about this game is satisfying. Yes! Yes! Those open domain valve sounds! Remember, I don't, I, I don't know what I was playing or watching, but I heard like the generic uh, valve sound and I fucking lost my shit. Ah! We kill her on the valve, that's what it was. I, I, I don't think it has different variants, at least I hope not. This helicopter is completely wrecked. But these bullets ain't. I like how the bullets were engulfed in, like, jet fuel. Not once did they go off. And the case is fine. Alright, oh, uh, man. What did that accomplish? Oh, I know. Ah! Ah, fuck them birds! Fuck them birds! <laughs> Dumbass crows, you make me look bad. I think that's the only spot that the. Oops, I shouldn't go there yet. Don't mind me, pardon me, I'm gonna go back here. Grab this, grab that, throw that in there. I think there's two of them back here. I don't remember. You should be dead. Nope, there's just one. If you come over here while the uh, the fire is going, um, you actually see them on fire. Like they'll walk at you while they're on fire. Ah, uh, yes, the art room. Ooh, the diamond key. Man, that window up there sure is ominous. Hopefully, nothing happens to it. 
Heck no. I would have been upset if I said yes. Shove that in there. I wonder what the, what the description is. An armor stone statue. Uh, the stand reads... Tyranos? Tyranos? I don't know. The brave revives with two lights. Neat. And they completely changed the statue in uh, the remake. It's a pretty easy one to do too. Like to get the items. It's really easy actually. Thanks, homeboy. Yeah, you expected something to jump out, didn't you? <laughs> uh, by the way, that only happens in uh, Part B. A looker will come crashing through the uh, the skylight. And it freaks me out every time because I'm, I'm never not sure which version I'm on. I don't think the helicopter has anything. Damn. The helicopter's in the way. Looks like I won't be able to get to the other side. Cry, cry. Uh, that's right, we got the key. Okay. Let's drop off for more fucking butt plugs. Now, like the noob I am, I am going to check where that key goes. Let's see. Third. Ah, first floor. Very cool, very cool. And all the way over there. Oh, why is there only one door that it goes to? Oh, it's actually like... Okay, okay, I see, I see. Um, man. Alright, we're gonna go do the door. On the far... The far... Uh, left. And why you may ask, it's because it's kind of easy to navigate once you open all the doors. Uh, do, do, don't want to go this way? Or don't want to go... Yes, yes, I do want to go this way. Sorry if you hear any background noise. Bow wow. Uh... This way. Come on. There you go. You just have to mash your face against the wall to open the door. <laughs> Psh, not me. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I think in this room is uh, where some sand boobs are at. Oh god! Yep! Oh man! Oh jeez! This is a lot worse than I remember! How many shotgun shells do I have? Okay, I have three. That was fucking scary. Alright, bring it. Now it's three right there. And there go the rest. 
Now that I think, I think there's one on the other side of me. Really? Locks broken cannot be opened. Interesting. Now, trick is not is to not get hit by this one. There we go. Oh, there's two of them. God damn! Why are there so many in this one? That sucks. That fucking sucks. I was hoping that they were closer. We used a perfectly good shell. Okay, that's it for homeboy. What's this? Film, heck yeah. Take that. Don't remember what that actually goes to. Or what that, or uh, my, what's that for? Don't mind me, just uh, hugging. There it is. I knew what I was doing. I knew how to Resident Evil, aka match your face against the wall, match X. Now this is horrifying music. Super suspenseful music. No, oh, it's our buddy. It's Marvin. Oh no, Pedic! Oh, that sucks. I should've just blasted him. Really? I'm... Caution already? Hey, get up. Hey, there we go. Are you serious? Huh. Can I believe I struggled that much with him? And the heart key. Goddamn. Banking. Oh, well, now I get to see Leon's hurt animation. Uh, I'm dying. I'm hurting. Oh, I could eat this. No, inventory is full. Fuck me. Let's try to show us the max. Yep. Memo to Leon. To Leon S. K uh, Kennedy. Congratulations on your assignment to Raccoon City uh, Police Department. We all look forward to having... You as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard. From all the guys. How sad. Thanks, Jojo, for providing us with the handgun bullets. You're a good man. And then we get to unlock it from this side. Okay. Oh, man. Let's take a trip. Uh, yeah, a trip to our chest god damn though i could have swore okay all right whatever all right no, no big deal no big deal we'll just keep moving on Let's put up that film first. See what it is. Ooh. 
Film A. Creepy. Code G, Human Body Experiment, 915, uh, 1524. I always used to be fascinated with those pictures. And I guess, like, that's the attention, is to have, like, a mis uh, like, mystery behind them. Make you wonder what, what else could be going on. Or something like that. Oops. Ah, much better. Okay, well... The diamond key... Has like one more use, uh, and the heart key I think literally has one use. I don't remember, but we're gonna go back here. Gonna go back here, uh, pick up that herb. Probably should it though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to the other side. And use the key, and then use the heart key. Ooh, it's still playing spooky music. Let's see what the desk say. Nothing, nothing. Nope, can't even examine that, okay. I always found it weird. How how homeboy turned purple whenever he tries, uh, he turned to a zombie. No no other zombie turns purple. Maybe it's like an initial thing. I need to be on the second floor, don't I? No, it's first floor. Yeah, how uh, yeah maybe it's like a initial thing. Turned purple at first, or blue, what do you want to call it? Then it fades away, and your skin starts flying off. I was gonna mention that you never really see uh, as 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 much of a transformation or decay, should I say, in in RE2, but I guess like the bodies are more fresher. Uh, for the mansion, like those those zombies have been there for a while already. Like a month. Or is it a week? Oh, use this now. Guess I'll throw this away. Hmm. Awfully quiet. Oh shit, look at that. Got a more fucking reflection. So back in the day, shit was amazing. To this day, I hate to see whenever you walk in front of a reflective surface and you don't see a reflection. But to be fair, it's a really hard thing to pull off. The way this works is that the room, the room I'm in, is mirrored on the other side. So there are two Leons in this uh, frame right now, or in this picture. Ah, oh, crap. There's... Uh... It appears I made a miscalculation. Wanted to do this in one go. 
Damn it. Oh, I guess I don't need... Oh, even then. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna come back. We're gonna go ahead and unlock the heart door. Which really isn't too far. It's like something. It's not too bad to walk to. If I had a big brain, I would have thought of that earlier. Yeah, so after, well, like, the uh, issue is, is uh, I don't have enough uh, empty space to pick up everything in that room because I don't want to double back to the chest then so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and break through the key real quick, head back, and then pick up everything and then leave. Never mess with that room again. Boom. Throw that shit away. See? That was too bad. Uh, this way. I think, I think I would like to um, do another video uh, on Resident Evil 2 in, in the future, but uh, with, uh, with another companion, just to show it off to them and have them play maybe. Because let's be honest, can you, can you ever get enough RE2? Nah. No. Nah. Never. Never enough. First aid spray. And what is this? Ah, uh, yes, the last plug. Very cool. Now it is time to leave. Ah! ah! A unique sound phase there too, I think. But we were only here for a split second. Oh, I can't believe that bastard bit me. They actually cut me. Cool. Hmm. Uh, that's right, we gotta go. We gotta go this way. Gotta go through the heart door now. <laughs> Watch we use this first aid spray. Solely for the little cut, for the minor cut, the ma the minor boo boo. That's just the flex. It appears the cords have been cut. Luckily, I have these. So you can actually use them in the first hallway where we encountered uh, our first liquor, but I use them there because we're going to be coming back through here. And plus two, since we have all doors open on the other side, it's really easy to navigate since you have the uh, police um, office open. Let's see, we got, we got nine shells. Fourteen tech. Oh. We don't need the details. Damn, come on. Ooh, where are we going now? Spoopy. Alright, I'm gonna try something. You know right there? Dogs don't aggro you whenever you're facing the opposite direction. Oops. Damn it. There you go. Go ahead and 
you, dude. Hey, what do we get? Because as soon as you let a dog have its way, it's 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 just a mess. Ah, ah, shit! There's two of them. Oh god, we done messed up. We're gonna go ahead and reset. Ah, see ya. Yeah, so they basically like have to be against your back. Get anything else and just start attacking as you see. Come on, you stupid dog. Come on! I'm trying to back up and... There he goes. Oh crap! taken care of and I don't mind using that uh, first aid. I, re <laughs> I really don't. Uh, is this open? Locked, okay. Plus the cup key has three uses. What's in here? I think this is the, the generator room. If I'm correct. Yeah. And we even got a fancy herb, but we don't need it right now. What is that? Oh, map. Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, that sound right there too. That's nice. That's nice. Uh. So there's going to be a uh, armory not too far from here that this is uh this generator here just basically activates the power to it. Mm, I, I, that's, that's not what I want to do. Oh, God. Sure. All right, we did it. Uh, is this way? Yeah, check it out. Yeah, so we, we have to power it on, but we also uh we still need a key card to even open it. Stucks parking. We're not gonna go there yet. This is another door. I wanna go check out. I'm not even sure if it's even open. Oh, it show is. Ah, oh, great. Actually, the dogs here, I think, aren't even... Yeah, they're up there. Check this out. You go over here. Uh, 
There you go. Yeah, so typically after they bark, you can go ahead uh, and shoot. Let's see if it's right here. Yeah, there's supposed to be a uh, like an area you can shoot at where the the screen actually gets damaged. Yeah, I thought it was here. I guess not. Damn, I suck. I can't believe. Uh, we're not gonna go there yet. Yeah. Although we did waste a lot of ammo I'm trying to show that off, but it's fine. Just deal with it. because I'm like pretty good handling the shotgun and knowing what situations to use it in. That's just start blasting randomly. Response, Leon. Who are you? Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. Push this thing. Come on, Ada, let's go on an adventure. I'm going to put all my faith in you. Ada, wait! That would be the last thing uh, he'll be saying that. Sadly. I don't even think that she goes through to see the other way. I think, I think those uh, dog canoes can be completely avoided. I think just like some herbs and that's it. Hang on, ammo. Boom. We're back up to scuff, not really. What's this? Control panel. It's locked. It appears to be open. I think this whole prison, not prison, uh, jail has two cells. Let me guess, you must be Ben, right? 
Get up. Oh, no now. shit, Sherlock. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. I feel that. What do you want? I'll say that as a ringtone now. Is this what do the you guy? want? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on. Yeah, and what's it to you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I they didn't did, even keep that in the remake, by the way. You? The whole Ada's boyfriend thing. Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? If you play RE1, like the original one, uh, you know what that's right about. Here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. <gasps> here he comes. Love what that screen. That? I fucking love it so much. Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here you <laughs> I like to think how they how they got that scream, hey, I'm but then it was just it's just part just some Japanese dude yelling. They threw some effects over it. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. It won't be easy. All right, I'm going. All right, cool. I'm gonna this homeboy. Can you check? Yeah. There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Is there anything here? Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Shit. Dare I take that? I do take that just in case. The blue herb. Oh, what's it for? Uh. Gives you a mad trip. Now it uh cures poison. And typically, whenever they put stuff like that, there's gonna be poisonous stuff ahead. Oh boy. So I'm gonna act a bit stupid and act like I didn't pick up that crowbar. Ah oh, man, manhole cover. Ah, how am I gonna open this? I better go check what's back here. Hmm. Probably think what happened. Yeah, okay. I was expe uh, expecting there to be a cutscene, but I guess it's not till later. Off we go. Stupid dogs. Let's see, who's that? Yeah, it's the only use, okay. Sweet ladder, an a uh, ladder animation, let's go. Oh, <gasps> spiders, ah! I don't know if we can avoid this one. Just be gamer. Woof. Oh, God. 
we're gonna go ahead and drop this right there. No, we'll go ahead and uh, drop this off as well. But we're gonna take this, this, and this and make that a hybrid dink. WID if you smoke this. All right. Hit it with that more fucking save. Boom. And that will be it. Thank you for joining me on this episode for the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil. Well, I'm not playing Resident Evil 2, but it's fine. We're celebrating all the Resident Evil. Hopefully, other people are uploading uh, themselves play Resident Evil. Uh, I'm Volt with Reductus. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, and uh, see you next time. There might be a part two tomorrow, so uh, check it out. Later.